Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to overclock your controller in 2025. If you do not have your controller OC'd and you are on PC, you are not playing at your highest potential. So you definitely have to do this. And if you've tried to OC in the past and you've had trouble or it hasn't worked for you, I'm going to show you how to resolve those issues toward the end of this video. Let's get right into it. Overclocking your controller is super easy. The first thing you're going to do is go to the link in the description. It is going to take you right here to GitHub, Lord of Mice, HID, USBF. And all you're going to do is go over to the code drop down here, click the drop down, and you're going to download the zip. That is going to put it right into your downloads folder. So you're going to find it wherever it downloaded. You're going to extract it, and all you do, go into the folder. You're going to go into the HID USBF folder. You're going to go into driver, and the program is right down here on setup, and you're going to launch it. Super, super, super simple. Once you get in here, all you're going to do is go to the drop down, and you're going to select USB so you can filter the device, make it easier to find. Now, I already know that this is mine right here because I've overclocked my controller plenty. It says wireless controller. If you don't know which one your controller is, simply unplug the controller. You'll see it disappear on the list. And then you plug it back in and you can see it reappear on the list. So I know this one right here is mine. All you're going to do is select the default area here, filter on device. You're going to click on the bottom left. You're going to change this from default to the max pulling rate. Mine is 1000. Most controllers are 1000, but some controllers uh, like the PS5s, the DualSense Edge, you can take this all the way up to 8000 and you will get even better input delay. And it is working. So put it on the very highest. Most of you, it's going to be 1000. All you're going to do then is click install service. After you click install service, just give it a few seconds. Then you're going to unplug your controller, plug it back in. And the way that you know it worked is this B interval right here. I'm on a thousand, so mine changed to one. It started at five, it changed to one. If you change this to 8,000, all you want to make sure is that this whole line is green and that your B interval changed. Changing the polling rate changes the B interval. So if yours is at 8,000, you will see a different B interval as long as it changed, as long as this whole bar is green. It is working. You are overclocked and you are ready to go play at a higher level than you just were previously. Now, this is a very, very minor change. You know, it's like if you're sprinting at 98 miles an hour, this change might make you sprint at 100 miles an hour. But gaming is all performance, FPS, latency. So anything like this that you can do is going to put you ahead of the competition. Now, there's going to be a lot of people that go in here and try this. Some controllers, a lot of the Xbox controllers, for example, um, will not overclock. And you'll know because when you try it, the B interval will not change or the whole bar will be red. However, this can happen with a controller that can overclock. So you might have tried an overclock before and it didn't work and you maybe gave up, but your controller might be able to overclock. Sometimes there's issues with the USB port, the driver. Sometimes when you're downloading this file, the program just becomes corrupt and it can give you an issue. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fix any problems that can arise. The first thing you're gonna wanna check is trying a different USB port on the back of your PC. Just try a different PC, USB port, and that alone could fix your problem. Another thing that you can do, because this will never break your controller. I've seen comments and heard stories of people saying, now my controller won't connect. That's not true. Sometimes things become corrupt and your, com your computer just doesn't recognize the USB device is basically what's happening. So. A way to fix this is to go into the bottom corner of your PC on the search bar and start typing device manager. Once you get into device manager, 
you're going to go to human interface devices and you're going to see a whole bunch of USB inputs. One of these is your controller. And sometimes when you plug your controller into different USB ports, it will double the input in this registry. So what you can do is go through each one of these and you can simply right click an uninstall device. If you don't know which one is yours, because sometimes it's tough to tell, they all have similar names, you can literally go through and delete all of these. And when you restart your computer, it will re-register all of the USBs that you have input. You can also just go behind your PC while it's on, unplug all your USBs, and plug them back in. As soon as you plug a USB into your PC, it's going to register here and it's going to reinstall the driver automatically. So you don't need to worry about anything. Even if this looks complex to you, you can just delete them. And as soon as you restart the PC or replug in your USB, it will reinstall and your controller will be working. Um, I've never personally had any issues with this program. I know it happens. So if you do, that's all you need to do to fix it. Unplug, go to device manager, uninstall, replug. If you do that, you should be good to go. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um, it's good to be back. We're rolling out videos. I have a bunch of optimization and performance ones coming. I know a lot of you probably are already overclocked, um, but I wanted to do an updated version of all the past optimizations I've done. And some of the newer videos I have having come out for like Windows performance and optimization, network settings, those videos, I will have additional things to add, um, you know, new performance tweaks for 2025 that weren't included in old videos because I didn't know about them yet. The overclock's kind of different. This has been the same way it works for a while now. I just wanted to make it short and sweet for anyone out there looking to OC in 2025 and also help the people um, who didn't get it working because of some sort of issue. Appreciate you guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. Every comment, like, and subscription really helps the channel. We're trying to reach certain metrics this month to get partner, and you guys have already been a big help. We're on our way. We're pretty much right on course to reach that goal. Um, so we're going to keep pumping out videos. I got a YouTube live stream and a Twitch live stream coming tonight. Maybe we'll see you there. Have a good day. Have a good night. Hopefully we see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.